Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Sunday. We've got two Game 7s today on this NBA slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Work on our way to 20.9K subs. Keep up the good work. Uh, check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Great promos, guys, with DraftKings, FanDuel, BetMGM. DraftKings has uh, risk-free same-game parlays. Same as Fandle. They have same game parlays you can do today. A lot of boost. Take advantage on these game sevens, guys. Especially with player props. All kinds of stuff like that. Um, two great matchups. We saw the Mavs win. Go into the Western Conference Finals. What a comeback win. Down by 17. Mavs getting it done yesterday. Now, two great games today. Two game sevens. Starting with the Indiana Pacers on the road against the New York Knicks. Knicks opening up as a three and a half point home favorite with the over under at 209. Uh, Pacers dominating game last game. 116 to 103. Neither team has been able to win on the road. Every win's been a home win. Um, I mean, man, if the Pacers could win on the road, they win this series. If the Knicks could win on the road, they would have won the series. So this is crazy. Um, the Pacers 2-8 and eight on the road against the Knicks. 1-6 and six on the road. They've just been bad on the road here. The Knicks 8-2 and two at home against the Pacers. 8-1 and one at home. Crazy. Just Knicks great at home. Pacers horrible on the road. Um, as far as injuries go, keep an eye on Josh Hart. And OG Anubi. It says OJ Anubi's upgraded to questionable. I kind of doubt he's going to play. If he does, that would be great. But Josh Hart, he was in and out last game. If he's out, that really does hurt the Knicks lineup. I feel like this is such a big game. There's just there's just no way Josh Hart's missing. But just monitor his situation. Man, this is going to be a tough game. Because you look at the road games for the Pacers. I mean, they lost by 30 they lost by nine, lost by four. They kept it close in, in New York. They kept it close in New York. On the opposite side, the Knicks, they were they had some rough games. Uh, they got they've been getting blown out on the road. Um man, gonna come down to who wants it more here. Um the over's probably a good play. Uh, because the over's definitely been hitting. I look at this, I already had some some bets placed and stuff. I like the Pacers today. I think the Pacers advance. I think everybody, everybody is counting the Pacers out today. It's in Madison Square Garden, they haven't won on the big stage on the road. All the stars are going to be out there. I think the Knicks just disappoint like they continue to do every single year. Too many injuries. Um, we'll see. If OG and Josh Hart play and they're, and they're healthy... You know, I might change my pick here, but I just I don't think that's going to be the case. I think Pacers are going to play a great game on the road. If they play a good game on the road, they're going to win this series. And um, I'm liking the underdog value in the three and a half. Give me Pacers money line plus three and a half. I think they're going to shock everybody today. Then the second matchup, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves versus the Denver Nuggets. Denver opening up as a five point home favorite with the over under at one ninety eight and a half. Um, no injuries to report here. Minnesota coming off a 115 to 70 win against Denver. That's the lowest points I've ever seen Denver score ever. Um, crazy, crazy win for Minnesota. Um, now they got to go on the road in Denver where they've won the first two on the road so that, you know, they can, you know, they can do it. Uh, crazy bounce back game for, uh, Denver, Minnesota. 5-13 and 13 on the road against Denver, though. So that's where they've had their struggles overall. Maybe not in this series, but overall. Um, Denver, 4-1 and one covering on a Sunday. Interesting little stat there. Um, look, I love Denver here. And if you saw the last game, the, the whole fourth quarter, it could mean nothing, but I think it means something. It, Jokic was just standing on the sideline the whole fourth quarter. Didn't sit down. Oh, Oh, I think Jokic is going to have a monster day today. Remember, they just really couldn't do anything uh, that last game. Jamal Murray, I mean, he just, it's not even like he got locked down. He just sucked. He just missed all kinds of shots. Couldn't handle the pressure. Had a bad game. 
I think they both dominate. I think they both combined for like 60 points today, 70 points. I think it's going to be a dominating game between those two stars. Um, I love Denver at home. I think they get it done. Um, and as a Mavs fan, who do I want to see, Minnesota or Denver? I don't want to see either team, to be honest, but I think we match up better with Denver. Uh, I think we, I'd rather I want to face the chance. Minnesota, I just don't know. Too many big guys in the paint. I don't like Gobert. It would kind of ruin the lobs for the Mavs. That's what we've been doing. I like Denver here. Big bounce back game. I think everyone's going to be on Minnesota coming off that monster performance last time. Denver's going to bounce back. Remember, they bounced back big, losing their. They got dominated the last two, their first two games. They came back and answered big the next three games here. Champs are getting it done here at home, front of the home crowd. Give me Denver minus five and money line at home. I like them to advance. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.